Hi everyone, Alex with Beam It Up here. Today I'm going to show you how to split pipes in Revit MEP. First we're going to look at how splitting pipes behaved in Revit. I'm going to show you the difference between unions and flanges. We're going to learn which one takes precedence and how it behaves. Also we're going to do some reducing of pipes using the, the split option. And finally we're going to create a pipe gap so that you can remove a piece of pipe whenever you want. See you in Revit. All right, everyone. So as always with Revit open, I'm going to open my plumbing Revit model. And if you don't know how to create a Revit model, you can go to one of our videos, either how to create an HVAC Revit model or how to create a plumbing Revit model, and you'll learn how to do so. So let's, uh, let's draw a couple of pipes first. So I'm gonna do PI for pipe, and uh, I'm gonna start with my flanged pipe type. And if you don't know how to create a pipe type in Revit, you also can learn how to do so in one of our videos. Uh, we have threaded, grooved and threaded, flange, mechanical joint, your choice. And all those are in the description as well. So for now, let's stick to flange. I'm going to do a six inch pipe at four feet elevation just for testing. And I want to show you here how splitting works in Revit. So let's go back to our pipe type. The one we're using is a fire protection flange. So under type properties, you go under edit. And for now, we're going to keep a under union. I'm going to select none just to show you the concept. Okay. And then under flange, I'm going to keep none as well. Now, if you try to split this pipe, you would have to go under modify and then either go here or you can do SL as you can see that's the shortcut the keystroke for it so I'm gonna do SL and I'm gonna click here and notice that I'm getting this message here and what's telling me is that I don't have a fitting specified to split that pipe so let's go back into our routing preferences pipe types type properties routing preferences and here I'm going to specify, let's say the first one, right? Coupling, my brace coupling. And I'm going to keep flange under none. Notice that I'm choosing something for union. So if I do OK and now I try the same thing, I do SL for splitting, I can now split my pipe. And notice that what I'm using here to split my pipe is the fitting that I specify under union. You see the brace coupling? Now I want you to see something if like right now I'm splitting this pipe into two different segments. Now if I were to remove that splitting element, the pipe would become single again, a little bit different from, for example, AutoCAD MEP. Either way, let's uh, remove these two fittings. Actually, let me leave this last one here. And now let's go back into our flange pipe type type properties. And now I'm going to specify a flange for it. And uh, let's do the threaded uh, gray iron uh, class 125, for example. And what I want you to see is that if I do SL for splitting my pipe, now what's taking precedence is my flange. See that gray iron threaded flange. So keep that in mind. So whenever you specify a flange is always going to take precedence over the union. And even if I wanted to leave that field blank, the union, let's say you click none here, your pipe splitting would still work because again, the flange is taking precedence. Keep in mind that any other video that I refer to during this video, you can find the link to any of those down there in the description. And if you have any questions regarding the content of this video, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. And now would be a great time to remind you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any notifications on our new videos. 
Another good use to split in pipes is uh, to reduce pipe sizes. So for example, let's say I have two pipes. I have a six inch here, and I also have another six inch here, right? So the first one I'm gonna split using my, my flange. And then for the other one, I'm gonna, in the meantime, I'm gonna set this to none just to you know clarify what I was trying to say before and let's say I want to split my pipe and now since I don't have a flange specified it went with the union which was that brace copper remember brace coupling so uh, in this case I'm gonna change let's say I want to change if I wanted to change a pipe size from six inches to four inches right let's say I want this size at four inches if I click on the pipe and I change this to four inches, the whole pipe's gonna change to four. That's not what I want. So that's why you could use a split element here and then click on your pipe and then reduce to four. And notice that by default, if you're not using your flange, but you're using just your union, this element that is creating is the one that you specify you, you see a reducer a flange reducer that's the one that you specify right here on your routing preferences under transition see flange reducer now if you're using your flange you can directly click on the pipe and change that to four inches and then it would identify it as such let's do another example with our pvc pipe type so I'm going to change this to, let's say, here it is, waste PVC. And then I'm going to draw my pipe here, and I'm going to try to split it the same way. Notice that our splitting element here is now a PVC coupling, right? That's because I specified it here. See, the PVC coupling. Notice that I don't have a flange selected here on my on my waste PVC pipe type, and there is you know you don't use flanges you don't use flanges in PVC uh, typically pipe types, so I have it set to none. And what this allows me to do is that now if I want to reduce from six inch to a four inch, for example, it will directly introduce my reducer, right? And this PVC schedule forty drain waste and vent reducer is the one that I specified here previously under transitions. Another very useful uh, way of using split is when you want to create a gap between two pipes and that's the way of doing it and you know just uh, go ahead and experiment have some fun and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notifications. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.